pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset, for a reset, for a reset. So I wasn't sure whether or not to run this story that was been going through the counter signal, but I'm going to go with it anyway. It's about documents revealing the Liberals' climate change department paid the World Economic Forum, the WEF, to produce a report that made an economic case for their environmental agenda, including the ever-increasing carbon tax. If you watch this to the very end, there's there's another thing coming through as well that I just want to just just touch on slightly, that you be you're gonna be shocked. Sprocker also highlighted this in one of the comments on the videos. I usually do comments on a Sunday, but I feel that with people, other people seeing this, we should at least highlight it on here and tell people what's going on and why they're being charged so much money for carbon tax and who instigated this absolutely ridiculous tax. So the report goes on to say that the Liberals paid the WEF for report justifying claim climate change policies. In August 2019, the Environment and Climate Exchange Department's then Minister Catherine McKenna gave 493,900, like half a million dollars, of taxpayers' money to the WEF to produce a report that revealed in the response to an order paper question sent by Conservative MP Leslie Lewis. So there you go. People who were saying that the Conservatives started this off, uh, this was on Twitter, it's actually said in here that it was a question asked by Leslie Lewis prior. It's the Liberals that have gone ahead and pushed and paid the money to get the report. But not just a report. <laughs> it's a report that would back up everything. You know, you can twist reports and you can twist polls. It, it's a well-known thing in Canada that, that, some, that a lot of things are twisted to sound like what they what they want just as a for, just as a for example in wales in england they delivered a 20 mile an hour speed limit and they said it was because most people polled said that yes they would prefer a 20 mile an hour speed limit but i found out what the question was the question was would you prefer your child to be hit by a car at 20 mile an hour or 30 mile an hour yeah, it's a rig pole. It was a rig pole. Obviously, it's 20 mile an hour. <laughs> that's, that's the BS that these poles can push out. Specifically, the documents reveal the ECCC gave money to enable the WEF to produce and disseminate a report that will establish the business and economic case for safeguarding nature. That that's environment. This report will be directed at senior decision makers in governments and businesses who have the influence and ability to shift business as usual approach. The ECC stated, in the report provided six months later, the WEF source papers favoring a carbon tax. Ooh. <laughs> it concluded its policy recommendations by stating what is required is bold policy ambition and decisive political leadership to signal that business as usual is no longer viable. Emphasis added. Despite being published only in June 2020, just months after the, the C word event emerged from <laughs> the W place in China, the WEF also urged governments to use their to use their fiscal recovery programs to reset the economy on more resilient, equitable and sustainable terms. I've heard Trudeau say this prior before on some interviews saying that it's a great time to reset the economy. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. This is our chance to accelerate our pre-pandemic efforts to reimagine economic systems that actually address global challenges like extreme poverty, inequality, and climate change. Yeah, that's the one. Well spotted, editor. 
Just months later, in December 2020, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced a significant hike in his government's carbon tax scheme, one that would raise the tax on fuels to $170 a tonne by 2030. This came through the counter signal to start off with. He's already highlighted the fact that the Conservatives were questioning it, yes, but they didn't go through with it. But Trudeau decided, yeah, what a great idea. Let's get some tax money that way. What was the last bit? Okay, look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh, it'll be on your screen, but look at this. Liberal partnership with WEF. Last year, 2022, last year it was revealed that Trudeau Liberals have, have a 130 five million dollar contract to be, to develop a known traveler digital id and the wef is the project partner digital ids what well, was i was saying in a video i'll link the video here about digital ids i'm going to link it digital ids and 15 minute cities making gas so expensive that you can't travel anywhere without it costing too much money these are all the conspiracy things that are now becoming realistic things. What's the difference between a conspiracy theorist and the truth? About six months, or a year in this case. Till next time.